Thank you very much. Uh, let's move to the question answer status straight away. Shahid Hashmi, Majid Bhai, and Ghaffar first. Uh, Sean, um, how exciting it is to work with uh, a battery of fast bowlers from Pakistan. Yeah, it is. Um, is this working? Sorry. Sorry, I should. Um, yeah, it is. It's obvious that um, we've got a decent pace battery. Um, so it's, you know, I've been in the job, what, I think six months now. Um, so I've had a, a good look at everyone and, and a chance to build relationships with the bowlers. Um, and and they're, they're going pretty well at the moment, to be honest. Most of them are, most of them are fit. A um, couple of guys obviously still coming back, but it's it's been good. Yeah. There is a lot of speculation about fitness of Shaheen Shah Afridi. Yeah. What is the latest update? Actually, the good question. I actually don't know. Um, I think he's just... Well, I heard he's coming along well. That was the last I heard. He's made some significant improvement. Um, and that's all I really know, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, Sean, uh, in the absence of Shaheen Shah Afridi, even in the Asia Cup, Nakeem Shah and other fast bowlers did a very good job. Uh, yeah. And now Asia, the, the series is happening in Pakistan. So how do you see, uh, if you have a look at the page, um, I asked Moon Ali about it, he said may, maybe uh, spin will not be only a factor and fast bowler can also be a very good factor here. So do you have anything uh, look about the page and of course the expectation from this series from the Pakistani Pacers on these Pakistan pitches? Yeah, the wicket I haven't seen the, the pitch yet. I just, just, just got here. So I wasn't here last night. Um, so I haven't had a chance to look at the wicket. But anyway, it's Look, it's T20 cricket, um, so there's only there's only certain wickets they're going to throw up. It's probably going to be pretty good for batting, I'd imagine, which is normal. Um, but I think the guys are used to used to it now. Um, the English side's played around the world. The, obviously, the Pakistan side has played here, um, so I don't think there's going to be anything any great surprise um, on the, with the pitch. Um, yeah. Hi, Sean. Uh, you'll be joined by Matthew Hayden in the, uh, during the World Cup. Like You'll be two Australians in the Pakistan coaching staff in Australia. So how do you think uh, that can play as an advantage for Pakistan? Look, I, I think it sounds, it sounds like it's going to be more of an advantage than what it actually probably is. Again, players have played all around the world. Um, they've played in Australia before. But I guess you know discussions with the players will be a lot more positive and a lot more um, yeah, probably easy to talk to because we've played there and, and that's our home. So I'd say maybe a slight advantage. Um, but in, in, in general, I think, you know, again, cricket's played all around the world now. So, um, yeah, I think guys have played everywhere and they're probably used to these the conditions anyway. But um, I suppose we can give them a bit more confidence because you've got a couple of Australian guys in the dressing room. Um, if that helps, then, then great, yeah. Who's a million and who's Hi, Sean, here on your right. Yes. Um, Harris Rauf is usually used to concede so many runs, but we saw him in a T20 Asia Cup. He controlled runs while taking also, uh, also taking wickets. Yeah. Uh, anything special you did with his technique or his temperament? Uh, anything? The only thing that we've been talking together about is consistency. And I suppose that, that showed in the Asia Cup. That's it. So He's got the pace, um, he's got the swing, he's got the aggression, all that stuff. Um, and we just talked about being more consistent in his areas, in, the, in you know, bowling in the right areas um, that were going to you know, make it difficult for the batsman um, and being more consistent doing that. And I think he did that in the Asia Cup. So, um, you know, it's, it seems to be going okay at the moment. Uh, we worked, we talked about his death bowling a lot and worked on his death bowling as well. Um, but they're just the usual things, I suppose, you've got to, you, you work with guys anyway. But. Um, with with a guy like him, I think keeping it keeping it really simple, and, and as long as he's enjoying his training, then I think he, he's going to be okay. Yep. Uh, my question is the sequel of his question. Like uh, Nasim has always high regard for you, and he always transformed his sense uh, after your coming uh, joining the Pakistan team. So what you did with him, and what happened when he came after that India match, and he had a cramp in his leg, you just came out to take him to the dressing room. So what's the situation? and how he was feeling at that moment. Well, I know what it feels like myself when you cramp up and it's hot. So I, I, I felt for him. That was why I went and, and grabbed him. But um, no, you've got to look after your fast bowlers. That's, I'm a fast bowling coach and, and he's one of the guys, you know, I've got to look after him. Um, 
make him feel comfortable and, and make him feel confident. Um, you know, with with these guys, the Pakistan fast bowlers, they, their natural ability is, you know, everyone knows it's where they come from. They they like to keep things simple, but they've got so much ability and they've got a lot of flair. So that's already built in, ingrained in these guys. So for me, it's it's, it's this real simple stuff. Um, building relationships with them and, and keeping them confident, I suppose. And, and Nassim's, um, I think in some ways he reminds me of myself when I was younger, a younger cricketer. Um, he's sort of free-spirited. Um, but he is, he is quite, he's, I wasn't, he's quite intelligent. Um, so, you know, he's, he's been a breeze to work with. Um, I think you've, you've all seen his natural ability, his skill with the, with the new ball especially is um, as good as it gets in the world, yeah. Last question. Yeah. Hi, Sean. I, I know you were saying that uh, players are used to conditions around the world, but for the English coming back here after 17 years, it's quite a special mm. uh, occasion to be coming back mm. here. Could you just uh, give us an idea as an outsider about what you think makes Pakistan cricket so special and so unique? Well, I suppose there's a bit of mystery around it. Um, obviously, you said 17 years that, since they've been here. Um, so the, there is a bit of mystery surrounding Pakistan cricket still. Obviously, they've he came into the UAE to play against Pakistan and Pakistan travel themselves. But I suppose coming back here adds a little bit of mystery. And, and um, yeah, I suppose within the camp as well. It's, it's, it's the way they sort of approach the game, um, keep things to themselves a little bit, which I like. I think it's old school and I like that. Um, but again, look, they, again, you talk about, you know, T20 leagues, they've sort of played together. Some of the guys have played in the PSL. Um, so the thing with cricket nowadays, there is a familiarity with everybody. You, there's sort of friendships within the team. So there's still that there, I, th I think, which is a bit different to say maybe 17 years ago. So, um, but look, yeah, obviously the, the people are here, are, it's a cliche, but the people here are happy that England are here. Um, so that's, that's a good thing. Yeah. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. So.